Now let's get into my favorite part of the videos, the Q&A. <laughs> Mental health, my artificial hip is just fine. Thanks, Pickle. Meme, I'll see you tonight. Diodes are here. A lot of wrenches. What's up, everybody? Hello. Crazy week. Raimundo has got a good, good point. Uh, Non-subscribe. Keep stacking cash. Can't go wrong there. Oh, tomorrow's going to be a good one with uh, DCA. With me, James, and Ben. Ooh, Ben's was 100% right on the uh, don't buy alts. So it'll be good. I mean, you know, like that's why I, I talked about... Um, uh, dollar cost averaging, but I call it micro DCA because I didn't know. And then, you know, I went along and I take some profit. So it's not so bad. I mean, I wasn't like going like super heavy. So we'll see how it works out. I'm still feeling pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, except this whole thing about regulation is going to be in a battle between everybody. I got, I got a lot of people. The people that want regulation don't really say too much. You know, because I've, I've done polls and everybody's like, yeah, we want regulation. But the ones that don't want regulation are the ones that are the most vocal. And I get it. I understand why you say that because you can't trust the government. And that's what crypto and digital assets are here for, right? That's what the products are here for. But I don't see, I don't see a problem with regulating a, an exchange, especially with the exchanges and what they've been doing lately and how they've been screwing everybody over and losing all their money. I know some people say, well, Rob, you don't understand because once they start regulating, then it'll never stop. I get it. I get it. But I think something has to be done at some point. And I mean, we can just keep losing money. That's fine. Like I'm protected. You're protected, right? Because you follow the rules. You don't invest more than you can afford to lose. You take your crypto off of exchanges. You don't leverage. You take profits, right? You're doing the things that a prudent investor would do. You've got no problems. The problem is the people that are out there that don't know what you know or don't watch this channel or watch some stupid channel where they just talk about how everything's going to the moon and it's going to be great. They have no idea. And the ones that get screwed over, then they're the ones that that uh, go to their representative and say, "This guy's these guys screw me over. And then they, it's amazing. Uh, when somebody's happy and content, they just tell the little circle, right? But if one person is unhappy with, with a service, a product, or anything else, uh, one pe they'll, they'll tell 10 people. And those 10 people will tell their 10 people. And then those 1,000 people will tell. It just, it's just a, uh, a roller coaster effect or uh, a domino effect. So I just think we should have it. There's a long answer for just one question. Beardy, please bury me with eels. There was this funny one. I saw Beardy <clears throat> on the Tell Member one uh, for the tweet. <laughs> he says, run, Gary Genzer, run for your life. This is from uh, Happy Gilmore. Ah, oh, that was such a funny movie. Very nice. Ah, Wendy O. We want answers. Don't want predatory regulation. We want regulation to allow for growth. Oh, hey, look at that. We want regulation to allow for growth, revenue, job creation. Our builders should belong to live in fear. Code is language. Very true. Tony, thinking crypto. What should XRP Pro? Oh, he's good stuff. It's good to see people making their voice heard. <laughs> Salvador's got a good point. Gary actually said this for once. It is true, actually. On some of these, like for some of you that live in New York, you know, Voyager and FTX weren't, or Voyager, FTX, and uh, Celsius were not an option. Gary saved you. But you may have already known the rules already. Uh, let's see. Ledger X is options, not the wallet. Yeah. Ledger X is something different. <laughs> Gary Goldman. Uh, Warren G does regulate. That's true. Let's see. It's an old reference. Library of distraction. Lucas Bradley. I don't believe the counting error statement. I believe everything. If it's on the internet, it's got to be true. Come on. Come on, Lucas. Uh, his recent rise in profile. Hmm. 
self custody index is only for me forever. Here's my question. So, so every, I mean, I use DEXs too. I use Uniswap. I use a couple of different other ones out there when I can't find the cryptos that I want. But here's my question. If you're going to use DEXs, how do you transfer your fiat into crypto? Because you got to use an exchange. There's another option. You can use a, um, uh, a uh, Bitcoin ATM, but you need some kind of like, there has to be some kind of uh, on-ramp to transfer your money into crypto. So what do you use? BitBoy is part of selling you a story. It could be true. There's a lot of 3D, 3D chess. Yeah. Marty McCrypto says, everyone in crypto is selling you a story. That's true. That is true. There are so many different narratives out there. It's hard to cut through the BS. That's why like the stuff that I show you are just the curated things that, that uh, me and Big E find online. And we try to give you the best information we possibly can. It's not always correct because there's so many different sides to everything. It's just, it's tough to get to the really heart of the matter and uh, be entirely accurate and, ho and hopefully non-biased. Unfortunately, I am very biased because I own a bunch of these cryptos I talk about, just so everybody knows. <laughs> Email reset. Great day today. Thank you. CZ played his part. Crispy's got a point. Here's the bigger question. Maybe it was all just a ruse. Maybe everybody's in it. What would the end game be, though? Why would they do that? Well, <sighs> my wife believes she has a, a theory and she says that uh, all this money that, get, that keeps getting lost, she says, it's going somewhere. Somebody's getting rich. And if, uh, if somebody has to go through the legal process to come on the other side as a billionaire, she goes, first of all, they're not going to go to jail. There's too much money being made. And if they do go to jail, it's probably going to be a very light amount of time. And she says, once they get out, well, guess what? They're, you know, 100 millionaire, billionaire person because that's all the money that they have. And I was like, yeah, that's true. But I remember there was a, a hacking couple. Uh, I forget the name. This is like an MSNBC expose that they talked about. And they said just how much, how little they actually spent because they couldn't spend anything because all the different crypto wallets, yeah, everybody could, could monitor them. And you can put things through a mixer. I get all those things. I understand. But it just be to me, I think it's a bigger hassle. But not everybody's like me, I guess. Some people really do want to be a billionaire and uh, do whatever it takes to get there, which is retarded. That's dumb. What are you going to do with all that money? Buy another yacht? How many yachts do you need? How many mansions? How many toys? It's a good point. Rob, can you do a segment on trading from your hard wallet so we can keep our crypto exchanges? Yes. Should do that. Yeah, that's a really good point. <laughs> Jay says, I trust, I don't trust. Thanks, but no thanks. It's not for everybody. So, I mean, I still use it, but that's just me. If everybody takes profits, there won't be any profits to take. Stop telling people that there won't be any profits. Stop telling people that there won't be any profit. I didn't say that there won't be any profits, uh, but yeah, if everybody takes profits, then we go to zero. So same thing could be said for any shareholder of every company. If everybody sells off their, their stock, then of course that's it. However, the company keeps going. <laughs> so like if, if Tesla crashes all their stock, I mean, they're still going to roll out some pretty sweet cars. Yeah, Smalling Bob's tax loss harvest on these dips too. We'll lower your tax. Don't worry. We're going to have a educational series about uh, uh, how to file your taxes and uh, software that I use, Crypto Trader, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to have some CPAs on. They're going to give their assessments of how to do these things correctly. I think that would be, I think that would help a lot. If that would help you, let me know. But uh, that's the thing. <laughs> Everybody's been asking me about James. I just text James this morning. James is fine. James is having just a, a, a great, a great, a great day. 
Uh, you know, remember, James has been trading for a very decades, I want to say. And uh, I'm pretty sure he had stop losses set in place for for uh, uh, Solana. But maybe he got he got uh, squirrely and, and bought some more at the bottom. Who knows? I'm not that guy. That's why me, James, and Ben are totally different how we do things. Like Ben didn't touch alts at all. And James was in and out here. I think he was doing more equities, though. But, uh, yeah. But I just, you know what I like about both of those guys? Is that they show up. They show up every day. Just like, it doesn't matter how crappy the market is or how things are going wrong, they still show up every day. And I can appreciate that. It's the same thing like I always talk about, like in the military. You just show up in the right uniform, at the right place, and you get promoted. Same thing here. Like, I'll just show up every day, and then I'll be here, and I'll answer everybody's questions, and, you know, and uh, try to be a little bit of calming voice, and then that's it. It's, it's, it's a simple process. The Shaolin says, but James has a Nakamoto coefficient for Solana is so high it's next to Bitcoin. No, he did not. I saw that video. He talked about how the 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 uh, Nakamoto coefficient, of course, Bitcoin is obviously the highest, but the next highest one was Ethereum. I think it kind of fell off uh, drastically. Actually, it fell off drastically from, from Bitcoin to, to Ethereum, and Ethereum to the next one. It might have been Solana, I don't know, but it was paltry compared in a comparison. Yeah, and JF says... SBF telling us other exchanges were liquid when his exchange won. It reminds me of one Alex Mashinsky on your show and lied, said 100K Bitcoin the way. <laughs> and then people were asking me like, hey, you know, we'd like to have you, you know, have more CEOs in the show and really drill them on the questions. I'm like, why? Did you see what happened with Alex? Did you see what happened with, I mean, people, they'll just lie to your face. And then again, like when people talk about, well, Rob, you got to do your own research. I'm like, really? Because like, we talked about this yesterday. Uh, Mr. Wonderful, Kevin O'Leary, was a big investor into FTX. And I can guarantee you he had a ton of people do their due diligence looking at FTX. And guess what? He's underwater right now with FTX. And that's a guy who has unlimited resources. So when people keep talking about doing research, you should do your research, it's a gamble. Let's be honest. There's too much lying. There's too much things going on behind the scenes. We'll never know. So really, that's why you have to, I mean, if you're going to be in this game, you got to show up every day. You got to learn as much as you possibly can to be on top of it because it's not a set it and forget it. And not financial advice, but you really should diversify a little bit. That's all I'm saying. That's it. All right. Do I need to catch a flight to Puerto Rico? No. Uh, and guys, I think that's, I think I answered everybody's question. <laughs> Beardy. What's wrong with Sailor? Yeah, Sailor's probably feeling pretty good about this, actually. It's probably like, see, told you. All those altcoins. And that's it. All right, everybody. So that's, I'll leave it off with Beardy today and Tyler. And that's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up and a like. I think we've only got, we've got uh, over 2,000 people watching and uh, not too many likes. It's a little bit uh, light would ask you for a little favor. Also, consider subscribing. I'll just talk about our time sensitive, as you can obviously tell. But that's it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by, everybody. Again, check in the uh, description, the link for tonight's meetup, and I'll see everybody there. First round of beers on me. All right. See you, everybody. Thanks so much. Adios.